was working at First United Church and I started a, a Lego play therapy program for the homeless. Because of that um, the passion that I saw people having for the medium of Lego, I just totally embraced it as a medium for my art. I wanted more humanity in my art. I didn't know how that was going to take place, but I think with this project I found it. You know? I stumbled across a fabric chicken mask and uh, I thought that needs to be covered in Lego and I need to perform in this because I'm really in the chickens. Then I decided I needed to make another one for another artist friend of mine and then I decided I needed to make another one for a musician friend of mine. And then I came up with a number of 81 and I thought I need to make this amount for a creative art collective. Really the project has become a wellness project. I, when I would spend about three or four days a week making a mask, then I would walk around the city uh, kind of breathing life into the mask, seeing how it felt. I realized something amazing was happening that was almost every person was smiling. So it was interesting how it became, started out as an art project, but it became something much more. And I have been doing art for two decades now. I've joined art collectives that changed my life, and that's why I want to create one. And I want to empower people with just being creative. Like obviously artists are naturally creative, but people who don't necessarily have art supplies, you know, so by them coming and being around artists and being around events where arts, it just will happen naturally. And that's a beautiful thing, you know. I walked into my friend's apartment and his wife said, uh, and I had on a, a red superhero mask, a red superhero cape, sorry, with the mask I just made. And she said, don't be a bully, be a super chicken. And something clicked in my head because because of the medium of Lego, when I'm walking around with the masks, kids, of course, flock to me like the Pied Piper, right? And I usually have a pocket full of Lego men to give them. But uh, when she said, don't be a bully, be a super chicken, just the, the, the flush of ideas or the, like the domino effect. It's like, I knew that I needed to illustrate a coloring book about a super chicken, an anti-bullying campaign. And then I was like, I need to illustrate this coloring book and I need to give it to the kids. And then when I'm the chicken militia, when the 81 members are done, you know, we'll be able to go to elementary schools, give out the coloring books. There's going to be an orchestra because tons of us are musicians. So of course we'll perform just that kind of thing, you know, like that, just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. So it, it's the funnest art project I've ever done. Like you're asking me, if, is it work? It doesn't seem like work because it's not just a painting you're hanging on the wall. It's like, now that these masks are going to people, it just seems bigger than myself, you know? That's really exciting. How can it not be, right? When you have other humans collaborating with you and yeah, I'm pretty stoked. <laughs> Hi, I'm Simon the Plant. I'm a Vancouver artist, also known as Gnomish Chicken Horse, and I'm creating an army of 81 Lego chicken masks.